Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a little uh, caster wheel fix that I did on my shop vac. Um, maybe you guys have run into this problem as well. Um, obviously there's other ways to do it, probably better ways. This is just the way that I did. So I'll show you um, on my shop vac here. These are the original wheels. Actually take that back. This is a set of brand new ones that I already had to replace at one point. So what they do is these snap in they pop in and lock into this uh, foot here. So anyway, these are plastic, cheap, and over time and over rough surfaces, they end up breaking. So here's what it looks like. Here's the broken one. Here's the center part that's busted out of it. So here's what I did. Um, went to a local hardware store and I bought, this is finished and I should have showed this from the beginning, but I bought um, this, caster had this wheel inside of here so what i did and this is the actual shop vac one and if you can see it's got this knob on the part it's bulged out there and that snaps in there's also a little white washer there a little spacer washer nylon spacer so this busted part was on this housing this this wheel was in here this was the new and this one's a th obviously a threaded one for some other application. But anyway, all I did was I went, I took my Dremel with my cutting wheel and I cut, I cut this pin out of here and took, and took the wheel off and put it, did the same thing here, cut this pin and I put, took the broken wheel off and put the wheel from here into here. All I did was cut the pins I went to the hardware store and I bought quarter 20 and 1024 here. That's what I'm showing you. This is what I actually end up using because in these, and these are salt, these are hard rubber wheels. These, these, something else is going to break before you break this wheel. So anyway, uh, the quarter 20 was a little bit too thick for the hole uh, going through that rubber wheel. So the 1024s work fine. And you probably could do this with a better bolt. This is just what I found, which is, a Phillips screw head, not maybe it'd be better with a hex head, but anyway, I, I did a quarter 22 inch with lock nut 1024. So here's what I ended up with. This is the new one. So all I did was, and like I said, it'd be better with a hex head maybe, but I put the bolt through here, uh, put the new wheel on and put my lock nut on, tightened it down, but not to so tight that the uh, wheel won't turn. And uh, this obviously, works just fine. It isn't a any high performance part. It's just got to stay on the bottom of my uh, shop vac. So uh, anyway, um, I that should be a quick fix. In fact, uh, bear with me. I'm going to snap it in. Okay. So um, I just popped that wheel in, press, pressed it in, and works just fine that's the wheel right there so anyway what I'm going to do is probably go get some more of these these casters and I've already got the bolts here and I'm probably just going to take out all the other ones and get uh, heavy-duty wheels and quit messing around with buying replacement ones that are just gonna break so uh, obviously better ways or probably other ways people got other ideas on way to do it but all I used Again, it was my Dremel. You could probably get a little hacksaw blade. There might be enough room in between the wheel and there to even use if you don't have a power tool. And some 1024s. Um, and I, like I said, it's not any high performance part. It just needs a roll underneath there. And I think it's gonna be the long-term fix. Hopefully this uh, helps somebody else out there. Have a good day.